Hello, people of YouTube, and welcome to my YouTube show, Ruben's History Show. So today, I am going to talk about my visit to the not to the September 11th Nat National National Memorial and Museum. I went in the, over the summer of July July 2019, in which I went with my mom, and I'm going to talk about the September 11th attacks in this video. So. Um, I'm going to talk about my visit and the September 11th attacks in my video. So uh, the September 11th attacks was when this uh, this uh, terrorist group known as Al Qaeda hijacked uh, four four uh, four airplanes or airliners, which was uh, United, which was uh, United Airlines, United Airlines and American Airlines. Two of two were American Airlines, and the other. And the two others were United Airlines. So the terrorists hijacked four planes and they crashed them into the World Trade Center, the two World Trade Center towers in New York City or Manhattan. And on the other plane crashed in the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. or Washington, D.C. or Virginia. And the fourth plane was heading towards the White, was heading towards the, cap, the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C which is where the Pentagon is located. But uh, the passengers uh, revolted against the hype, against the terrorists, and then the terrorists crashed the plane into uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania. So that happened 18 years ago today. And so that's why I'm making this video about, about the September 11th attacks that took place on, in 2001, which was 18 years ago. So this attack took place uh, one year before I was born because I was born in 2002. I was born October 29, 2002. So that meant it was, I was born uh, a year right after the September 11th attacks in uh, 2001. So uh, my mom was in uh, high school at the time and she was, and she, she heard, she, there was the TV in the cafeteria, I believe. And they had the World Trade Center, the first World Trade Center building on, on it was a smoke on the building because uh, the first plane crashed, which was American Airlines Flight 11, which flat, which came, which took off from Logan International Airport, which was Boston, which was in Boston, the state of Boston in the United States. And it took off from Boston Logan Boston Internet Logan International Airport Boston and it um and and it went, it was going to uh Los Angeles but then the terrorists hijacked the plane and then they crashed the first plane or the American Airlines flight 11 into uh the first World Trade Center building and then at 8:46 a.m was the time when American Airlines Flight 11 crashed into the first World Trade Center building or the World Trade Center Tower in New York City. And then, and then minutes later, people in New York began to realize it, they thought it was an incident, that they thought it was an accident, it was not an attack. But then minutes later, uh, minutes later, the, first, the second plane, which was United Airlines, Flight 175 was hijacked by this uh, five other Al Qaeda members, terrorist guys, and they hijacked United Airlines Flight 175, and they crashed it into the second World Trade Center building, which the which took place at 9:05 a.m. in the morning. That's when the second plane hit the World Trade Center tower, and then. People began to realize that it was a mis that began to realize it was a terrorist attack. They knew it was a terrorist attack on the United States of America, because the first one, the people thought it was an in they thought it was an accident, but then when the second plane hit the World Trade Center tower, it was an attack on America and terrorist a ter an act of terrorism. And people began to realize that, and so um, later on. At, later on at 9, 9.37 a.m., a, a third plane crashed at the, in the Pentagon, which, was a, uh, which, is, a, which is a building located in Washington, D.C. It crashed in the Pentagon. 
at 9.37 a.m. Which was the head, the Pentagon is the headquarter, the headquarters building of the United States Department of Defense. The Pentagon. And then that was the third plane that was hi that was the third plane that was hijacked by this other terrorist terrorists on the plane. And then uh, the the flight seventy seven departed from uh, Washington Washington Dallas International Airport, which is in Washington D.C. And the last plane, United Airlines Flight ninety three, took off from Newark International Airport, which is located in New Jersey, where I was born a year right after the 9-11 attack in 2001. So the flight 993 took off at 9 at 8:42 a.m., which was just 4 minutes before United before American Airlines flight 11 hit the World Trade Center tower, the first World Trade Center tower in the in the New York City. And so uh so later on, the hijackers or the terrorists began to uh, hijack the plane, the United Airlines Flight 93, and they, cra and they um, took over the plane from the uh, pilots. They took over the plane. And then later on, uh, the people on, American Air on United Airlines Flight 93 learned about the, uh, the plane crashes in the World Trade Center Tower and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Later on, they decided to plan a. Uh, they decided to plan to revolt against the, uh, to revolt against the uh, terrorists who hijacked the plane. And so, at nine fifty seven a.m. I, at seventy nine seven nine fifty seven a.m. I believe, that was also the same time when the first World Trade Center uh, tower came down, because of it was so hot on that day. It was over. I think it was two thousand degrees during that during that time during that day, and the first World Trade Center tower came down at, at the South Tower came down because that was the second plane that hit on September eleventh, two thousand one, and the passengers began to revolt against the terrorists and they wanted to overthrow them. And then the, the passengers managed to get inside the cockpit, but then uh, the, the terrorist pilot rolled the plane, they rolled the plane upside down, they rolled it upside down like this, and then they crashed it in the field in uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania. So their plan, their objective was to crash the plane in the, in the United States Capitol building, which is located in Washington, D.C. So that was their plan. But the other, the three, the three other, the three flights reached their, reached their target, but United Airlines Flight 93, United 93 did not reach its target. Its target was to crash into the Capitol building, but it crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania because the passengers re revolted against the terrorists who uh, hijacked the plane. And so the plane crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania at, at 10.05 a.m. in the morning. Then later on, uh, at nine at ten twenty eight a.m., that was the time when the first the 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 North Tower of the World Trade Center came down, and and it, and then there was a a bunch of smoke from the first and the second tower that were hit by the that were hit by the two uh, planes that were hijacked by the Al Qaeda terrorists, and so there was smoke that came from the to the towers. And, and the World Trade Center towers were gone forever. And then a uh, war on terror began, which was to fight against the terrorists. And then we went to war in the Middle East with the, uh, in Iraq in 2003. And then we went, though, no, before Iraq, we went to war in Afghanistan in 2001 to capture and kill Osama bin Laden. And then later on in 2003, we went to war against, we went to war in Iraq in 2003. So when Iraq war happened, I was just one years old because that happened in 2003. So uh, then 10 years later, the United States managed to kill Osama bin Laden, the man who was responsible, the terrorist who was responsible for the 9-11 attack in May of 2011 by this uh, SEAL team, by this Navy SEALs and his uh, compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. He was killed by SEAL Team 6. 
and his body was dropped in the ocean and after he was killed. But 10 years prior, there was an operation to kill uh, Bin Laden in the Tora Bora, which was where he was hiding at the time. But then United States, uh, United States drones, I believe, they dropped, they dropped these missiles to kill or even kill, kill Bin Laden because Bin Laden was hiding in the, ca in the caves in Tora Bora in the two, in the December, between November or December of 2001. But then 10, 10 years later, he was killed by the Navy SEALs. So now I'm going to talk about my visit to uh, the 9-11 Memorial, one, the 9-11 National September 11th Memorial, which I went in, uh, in, the, in the summer of 2019, in July of 2019. I went to the National September 11th Memorial and Museum in the 2011, in 2019, July 2019. I went with my mom for vacation. So during that time, uh, we came, we were going on vacation to uh, New York, to New York City and, um, and New Jersey to visit my aunt over the summer of 2019, when uh, shortly after uh, school was done, the school year was done, my 10th year of school was done. And so after that, we went to uh, New, New York City to go see the, uh, the, the town, the city. And then later on, we went to go to the 9-11 Memorial, and then we saw this uh, water, this whole, it was like a drain, like it had the names of the victims who were killed, and it had the names of the victims who were killed in the first tower and in the, on, on, the, on the two flights that crashed into both World Trade Center towers. And later on, they had the names of the people who were killed in the first terrorist attack in the World Trade Center, which was in 1993 when this terrorist put a bomb in the uh, World Trade Center uh, Tower in 1993. And so I also remember seeing the inside of the memorial, the, Nas September, the National September 11th Memorial Museum. And I saw this, um, the na I saw the plane, the wreckage of the towers, which, it, which the plane in which it collapsed and the two in the September 11th attacks and I saw some of the wreckage of the plane that crashed into the World Trade Center tower. I believe it was either flight American 11 or United 175. It was probably either of those two flights. And so I saw the other uh the the fire truck. There was a broke there was a fire truck that was destroyed in the 9/11 attacks. I remember see, that I remember seeing in the um, in the um in the memorial and then i also saw the names of the victims who were killed in the the world trade center towers the pentagon and in shanksville pennsylvania they had the names of the victims who were killed in those attacks in those uh, areas that were attacked by the terrorists so after that i remember seeing uh the who were the hijackers or the terrorists of the uh of the attacks they had their uh faces and names on the um on the wall they had this little uh wall of the terrorists who were responsible for the uh 9 11 attacks the the terrorists who hijacked the planes and crushed them into their targets and i saw this uh the people who were responsible the mastermind of the 9 11 attack bin laden uh, they talked a little bit about his organization, uh, the terrorist group known as Al Qaeda, and they talked about the hi the history of where he was fighting in the Afghanistan against the uh, Soviet Union in the nineteen eighties during that time, and so I and that was pretty interesting. I really enjoyed the uh, memorial because it had a lot of details about like what happened during the September eleventh attacks in the two thousand one. And then I also remember seeing the uh, the plane, the first plane that 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 hit the tower, in the the first tower, which was at night eight forty six a.m. in the morning. That was when the first plane, the American Airlines flight one, American Airlines flight eleven, hit the plane hit the tower at eight forty six a.m. in the morning. And so. 
that was and it was pretty it was pretty uh shocking because it was scare it was uh scare it was uh just crazy about why they crashed a plane into the building during that period and then that was uh very uh shocking because i also saw the truck the fire truck that was in the uh, museum in what uh, when which was destroyed in the september 11th attacks and then i also remember seeing um the the, the uh, FBI investigators in the Shanksville, Pennsylvania, investigating the plane crash that crashed in Pennsylvania in the 2001 attacks, which took place in 2001. So, and then I also remember seeing uh, some of the wreckage of the tower uh, from the either the two World Trade Center towers I remember seeing during that time. So... Yeah, and then later on, this it was the tower. The two towers collapsed because of the planes hit the two buildings. That's one of the reasons why the plane, the plane, uh, why the towers came down. And then I was talking. My mom and I were talking to this uh, one of the survivors in the World Trade Center towers in New York City, and she she was a survivor in that attack. I believe she was in the South Tower or either in the North Tower of, uh, of the um, World Trade Center. And then I remember she said that, uh, she, said that uh, she was a survivor and she managed to get out of, out of either the first or the North or the South Tower of the World Trade Center. And she said that uh, the ta maybe if someone put up, maybe if the terrorists didn't fly the plane into the building, they could have just went into the uh, the tower, or maybe just put a bomb inside of the tower, and then maybe it could have gone down. That's what the survivor was talking about. But then um, that was kind of crazy, though. What the terrorists did—they crashed a plane into the building in the in the two thousand one attacks in the New York City. It was very crazy, and it's and it's very it's very shocking because it happened in at the beginning of the twenty first century, and that was just a year before I was born. I was born right after the two th after the nine eleven attacks in two thousand one, and the build the buildings were on the buildings were on fire for one hundred no the first. The first build, the the first the the first plane that hit the World Trade Center tower, which was the North Tower, it was it was uh, it was standing for two for two hours for one hundred and two minutes. The building was standing during that period, and so uh, the both towers collapsed because of the it was very hot on that day, and the two towers collapsed during that time. And it killed over 3,000 American people on, uh, in the World Trade Center, the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and in Pennsylvania. And then it took, it took many years, it took years to uh, reconstruct, the, uh, to make a new tower, which is the Freedom Tower. They made a new tower, which is the Freedom Tower, or the World Trade Center Tower. They, they built it after the 9-11 attack. And it's still there in New York City today. It's still there during that time. It's still there today. And uh, and right now, they have a um, they have the World Trade Center, which is only the one World Trade Center, which is located in uh, New York City. And also, the first the World Trade Center towers were also one of the largest buildings in the world it was one of the largest building in largest buildings in the world during that time while it was still still there before uh the september 11th attack took place in 2001. so so my grandma my grandma was uh babysitting d during that time when 9 11 happened so yeah she was babysitting a kid babysitting a baby i believe it was and that was on a Tuesday, a Tuesday. That was on a Tuesday. And then my father, he was in an office building, I remember. I think it was somewhere in New Jersey where it was, where he saw the plant, the buildings on, on fire, or it was a smoke coming from the building. And he said he remembers that. I think he was in an office, in a restaurant, I believe. He saw 
the fight he saw the buildings on fire i think that i think that's what he told me i can't remember exactly though so i wasn't born during that time yet so my mom was in high school and then my aunt was in uh my aunt was somewhere in new york city i believe during that time and that was just a year before i was born so yeah, that was a very sad, uh, sad, very sad, sad thing in the in American history, and a lot of people died in the September 11th attacks in the 2001. So, yeah, that was a very sad thing in American history. It's kind of almost like the modern version. It's the modern version of Pearl Harbor. And which took place in, on December 7th, 1941, in which the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor during World War II. And the uh, United States President uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt said, uh, December 7th, 1941, a day which will live in infamy. Uh, September, and then also September 11th, which is also a day which will live in infamy as well. Because a lot of pe people will never forget where they were or where they were when 9-11 happened or when they were alive during that time. No one will ever forget that day where they were and what happened. And it's very uh, shocking what happened during a 9-11 attack on 9-11. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and subscribe. And for those families and who died in the 9-11 attack, I hope, I hope that, um, I'll, I'm sorry for your loss and for you, for, for your family members, the victims who were killed in 9-11 attack. I'm sorry for, for, sorry for what happened. And, and, uh, and my, and my heart goes out to the people who were killed in the attack and who were hurt, hurt badly or injured. And I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. And my heart goes out to all the victims who died in the September 11th attacks in, uh, New, in New York, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C.